Hello and welcome to uh, what's going to be probably a Fizzbrine random fitness thing. So I really like running and one of the th real problems that what I have when I run is when it gets really hot like it is today, it's right around 30, 31 degrees and it's around oh, 7, 11 in the evening, it's still super hot. So this is the sort of weather where a lot of people would like to run without a shirt on and so, you know, dudes wear run without a shirt all the time and a lot of women run in just their sports bra and well, I was talking about this to one of my friends the other day and she said that uh, you know she feels a little unconfident and uh, doesn't quite feel comfortable running in just the sports bra even though it'd be a lot more comfortable in terms of temperature so I said hey how about if I pick one up and we'll go running in sports bras together so I'm just on my way to my friend's place and we're gonna do this all right, so this is it. This is me wearing the sports bra and my normal running shorts. And yeah, just waiting for my friend to come meet me. And we're going to leave her dog inside because he's a mix of husky and a bunch of other things. And they don't do so great in this sort of weather, especially when out running. So we'll, yeah, just let him settle down a little bit and then we'll be on our way. So this is my friend Danielle. And as you can see, she's got the confidence to wear a sports bra today as well. So we're going to go out and start running. Let's see how this goes. Could go great, could go badly. We'll see if I can get some reaction shots from anybody along the way, and we'll see what happens. This video is probably gonna need to be edited to crap. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And away we go. Forest. Uh, sure. How far are you uh, I don't know, like maybe five, six k. What's that? Yeah. That's like not Nothing too crazy. So, first impression: fairly comfy, not winding up or chafing. That's good. Need to watch the Winnipeg streets to keep from twisting an ankle. Nothing from the two people we just passed. How are you doing, Dan? Oh, it's so hot. <laughs> I think it's time that you just slow down and I can speed up. Okay. Let's slow down a wee bit. We'll take a break and we'll check in once we get a bit further into this heat. So normally, on a night like tonight in the summer, Everybody and their dog would be out going for a walk, going for a jog, super slow bike ride, taking up all the space. It is too friggin' hot. So we're the only idiots out here sweating our brains out. So we're about 500 meters in. Dog paid attention. If that lady watering her lawn noticed, she didn't say anything. This is good so far. Do you feel comfy? Actually, yeah, I feel real comfy. And not gonna lie, there is a little bit of peck balance when a dude runs. This is helping a lot with that. As for my midsection bouncing, eh, yeah, it's not too bad. So yeah, far fewer people out than usual. It's hot enough, you could probably cook french fries underneath our armpits. Oh god. So far, feeling good. Enough shade on the path to not be completely roasted. Checked a decent hour, and we're heading east to start. Going west on the way home, that's probably going to be a different story. No! Too early in the run for ice cream! <laughs> Gotta keep going. About a kilometer in, how we doing? Alright, let's keep going. Doing a good pace, faster than your normal pace. Old 
dude in the Civic. Kindly waved us through. Looked a little bit like the guy who played Oscar on that show, Corner Gas. <laughs> Get across that driveway, you weirdo. All right. Well, that light took forever. Going across the bridge. Not sure if they were amused or turned on. We'll see. <laughs> so we go on this path. Yeah. Oh, so much better. Ooh, this is a pretty path. It's also kind of liberating not having to watch. Yeah. I'm not really looking at mine. Again, still no one mentioning anything. So that's probably good. Yeah. It's a great way of people can wear what they want to wear. We go this way? Oh, better slow down a touch. <laughs> We're a little over a mile in. Still doing great. Appreciate helping immensely. Okay, let's, let's take out the main road. Running through suburbia. Pros. Roads, very good condition. Fairly empty in the evening. Cons, very little shade because they cut down all the trees, then name the streets after them. Hello. Road giving me a side eye. Just slowed down for some water a moment ago. I keep on trucking just over two kilometers in. Again, we're at about 12 minutes into the run. No chafing, super comfy. I'm gonna have to leave a review of this thing online. Oh yeah, it's on sale for like $31. Again, not sure how well it would hold up if I had, you know, substantial breasts. But for what I'm doing today, but it should be like a sweat. Oh, no sweat at all on me. So so far, so good. We'll see how things go when we get out into the burning sun. Yeah, that'll be right now. Still doing good. Definitely wouldn't want to run in this, doing something like a beer run. Oh, no. Haven't done one yet. Really don't feel like vomiting. It's not fun. Shout out to Ali Spagnola from a few years ago and she did one. Also a sports bra, she had no pants. <laughs> then again, I got the tights, so eh. I should have worn my three. 
Yeah, I don't know how you're dealing in those capris. It's not getting sunburned, it's all I can do. That is one good thing, no sunburn. Still chugging along, 2.75 kilometers in. Feeling okay, sweat's starting to pour down my forehead. Luckily there's enough breeze, and again with no shirt to trap the sweat, doing great. Yeah, and this is my first time running without a shirt at all. And I've been running for, oh, nearly 20 years now. First shirts that I ran in were those old cotton gym shirts, yeah. predating when Under Armour and other stuff was popular. Oh, those were wet. Once we started switching to yeah. the dry wear and fast evaporating clothing, oh, so much better. For that sort of clothes day like today, it'd be like I was out in a downpour. So, sit rep, we looped a little early. We ended up to find some side streets to run down a bit, but we'll be fine. Thank you. Those people are nice moving the dog over. Huh. Definitely feeling the heat now. 20 minutes in. Dripping in my arms. <laughs> water very warm coming out of the water bottle now oh. Oh. half water boarded myself not fun hello what was that she said hello I think And again, quick disclaimer, I'm a cisgendered, heterosexual male, and this is not to diminish people who are gender neutral or trans male female who are in various parts along their journey, wanted to work out outside. Again, whole point of this video, one should be able to wear what they want to wear when they're out for a run without having to worry about being judged are subject to violence or verbal abuse. So, so far, people being fairly cool. But again, that was just this one run. Oh, the sun. Oh, sun. Why did we go east first? It's evening, the sun's heading in the west. Feels like the second world of Mario 3. Trying to kill us. I'd put the sound effects in, but I don't want the copyright bots clamping down on this video. 4K in. We can do it. Go team. The dog would have quit a long time ago because he's smart. <laughs> smart. <laughs> oh god. So, update. Bushy eyebrows have reached saturation. <laughs> All that sweat, now getting into the eyes. Ooh, contact lenses, forgive me. <sighs> oh God, so hot. Folks, that heat warning is not screwing around. So sit rep, 4.3 kilometers in. Water is a warm sloshing fluid in my bottle right now. Next time, definitely freezing the water beforehand. <clears throat> yes, sloshing around. Salty Chinese food beforehand. Mixed blessing. Mixed blessing at this point. 
But it was so good. <laughs> oh. What do you want to do? Hmm? What do you want to do, run? Yeah, might as well. If we were ready to go, we're close enough. We can oh, finish this up. Let's do this. Right. Not too far, not go farther. Ah, oh, breeze. So, sit rep, 4.63 kilometers in. We're gonna stop when we hit five. Or we can push it that last little bit. We'll see how many meters we have to go. And again, surprisingly, not super sweaty. It's low humidity at least. Just one saving grace of this insane weather. So, everything I sweat is evaporating and being wicked off by what I'm wearing. Kudos to whoever designed this thing and to the person who stitched somewhere overseas. Yeah, we're getting pretty sweaty. 4.86 kilometers. Just a couple more streets to go. And again, cue motivational royalty free music at this point, editing Brian. Yeah, I'm editing this the next day and no, not adding the music. And there we go, 5k, oh we God. did it, we survived, oh God, so hot, next time I'm going for a bike ride in this type of heat, because at least there you get a little more wind from moving around, so there we go, at least in the time of day I went, on this day, me being me, a uh, dude wearing a sports bra didn't get harassed, thankfully. People are being pretty cool. So, hopefully you can be as cool to everybody else.